Hi there Wigglower, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com and this is my review of the Ashley Wig by Aesthetica. Now, as some of you may know already, I am extremely picky, extremely picky about the wigs that I carry on my website. Um, that's one chief difference between me and a lot of my competitors. Like if I don't like a wig, or if I don't think it's worth the cost, or if I get some indication that there are quality concerns on a consistent basis with a wig, then, you know, like if my customers tell me that there are problems or we have a lot of returns of a specific product, I'll pull it from the site, you know, to try to help prevent other people from getting, you know, a, a wig that might not work out for them. And that's also why I make all these videos, because I'm trying to help people find wigs that will work for them. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry to say that I'm probably not going to be carrying this Ashley on the website. Okay, so it's a really pretty wig, really pretty, until you get to the top. Now, I even ordered this in a dark color to sample, okay, before I show this to you, all right? I ordered this in a dark color to sample because I know sometimes they don't give you enough permatease on top, and, and this, is, this is where this is a real problem, okay? And I've mentioned this in previous videos. Bear with me, because th this is a very great example of what I'm getting at, okay? I promise. So, um, you know, because I know they've been skimping on permatease on some of these new wigs that they've come out with, I was like, well, I better not get this in a super light blonde. You know, I was basically following my own advice, and I was like, we're either going to get it in a rooted color, or I'm just going to get it in a brunette. So I just got it in a brunette. And even with that precaution in mind, to try to make sure that whatever permatease was there was going to obscure the tracks, this is what the top of this sample wig, a first run sample wig, looks like. Can you see that? You see? Do you see this up here in particular? This is the factory part. This is the condition that this wig arrived in. You can count the tracks. One, two, three, four, on the, it's, it, that's right on top. Here, let me put this on so I can show this to you because I'm actually sending this one back to the manufacturer. I'm not even going to sell this, this particular sample to somebody because I don't want anybody <laughs> to get this wig. It's a shame because look at how pretty this cut is. It's a pretty cut, but if the cap construction's that wonky, like I cannot in good conscience endorse it, but it's, it's a beautiful cut. You know, look how pretty this is. Makes me mad. <laughs> it makes me angry because I want to like this. I want to like this very much. But look at the top of this thing. On. Like, I know I can't be alone in that. That's a massive quality control issue. So, yeah. Unfortunately, this is a beautiful wig, but... I can't do that to my customers. I know people will buy it. I know people, will. that's the agonizing part. Like people will fight me over this sometimes, and, like send me nasty emails, like you should be carrying always by Raquel Welch and stuff like that. And it's like, I know I'll make money from it. I know people will buy them, but you know what? Like I take my integrity very, very, very personally. I take it so seriously, you know? And I consider, you know, m my, me constructing my website as basically the last front in quality control because if I don't think it passes quality control then it doesn't go on the site you know and I feel like I'm, I'm doing a service to people then um, I don't know I mean I, I don't want to talk about this too much more because it's a bummer and I'd rather move on to I mean it's epic bummer because it's so cute um, I'm going to move on to another wig and hopefully that'll be more fun but unfortunately I'm going to have to pass on this Ashley by Aesthetica, and I'd show you the interior of the cap. I mean, okay, let's show you the interior of the cap. I mean, I don't want people to think I'm not doing a good job here. Here, Here's the interior of the cap. It's just an open cap. That's why that permatease is so important. You know, and there are plenty of tracks up here, so it looks like they're giving you plenty of hair, which is why I'm saying it's probably an issue up here where that permatease is supposed to be, because it looks to me like they're putting plenty of tracks up here. But there's nothing to obscure the tracks. And in an open cap wig, if you don't have something there to obscure the tracks, the tracks become visible. And in a dark color, it's not as bad, but can you see that if I get really close with the camera focus? Can you see all that? 
all those tracks. So I'm Heather from SisterWigs.com, um, the exasperated owner of Sister Wigs. Um, that's C-Y-S-T-R-W-I-G-S.com, which, as this video should prove to you, uh, is a site where you can go where you're going to find wigs that don't have epic quality control issues. At least, if we can help it. So, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you have a great night. Bye!